Some organisms are big and some are small, but they're all made up of cells. Some tiny organisms, like bacteria, are made up of a single cell, and all the materials they need must be supplied via their cell membrane. Large organisms, like us humans, are made up of millions of cells. To get the important stuff, like oxygen, to all of the cells that make up our bodies, we have a transport system that takes things to where we need them. We rely on the blood to transport what we need to where we need it. But why are larger organisms made of many cells, rather than a single giant cell? And why do we need such advanced transport systems, rather than simply allowing materials like oxygen to diffuse from the air through our skin to all of our body cells? The problem is surface area. Consider two cubes of different sizes. The smallest cube is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter, and so has faces each with an area of one centimeter squared. And there are six faces, so it has a total surface area of six centimeters squared. The larger cube is two centimeters by two centimeters by two centimeters, so each face is four centimeters squared. With six faces, it has a total surface area of 24 centimeters squared. So, the larger cube has a larger surface area, but the larger cube also has a larger volume. We need to compare the surface area of each cube with its own volume. The small cube has a volume of 1 by 1 by 1, which is 1 centimeter cubed. It has 6 square centimeters of surface area for every 1 cubic centimeter of volume. We can say that it has a surface area to volume ratio of 6 to 1. If we do the same for the larger cube, we can see that it has a volume of 2 times 2 times 2, which equals 8 centimeters cubed. This ratio of 24 square centimeters of surface area to every 8 cubic centimeters of volume can be simplified to 3 to 1. 6 to 1 is bigger than 3 to 1. It's obvious that the smaller cube has a larger surface area to volume ratio. Let's imagine that these cubes are living cells that need oxygen to survive. For oxygen to spread throughout the cells, it must diffuse through the surface. As the small cell has more surface area relative to its volume, every part of that volume can be supplied with oxygen at a faster rate, compared with the larger cell. It would take too long for the center of the larger cell to be supplied with what it needs. If a large organism were made of a single cell, the exchange of materials simply wouldn't happen fast enough. This is what limits the maximum size of a cell. Since our bodies have to be made of many tiny cells, it's important that the materials those cells need are transported directly to them. This is the reason why we have a circulatory system with a really strong pump, that is the heart, constantly shifting nutrients in the blood throughout our body. 